The movie opens up showing us a nine-year-old girl, who suddenly appears to be pregnant. No matter how hard she tries, she can't fit into her largest children's clothes. Her mother is shocked but doesn't consider pregnancy, which was obvious cause of her daughter's age. She reassures her daughter that it's probably just acid reflux. Take some medicine and you'll be fine, she says. But one night, the girl's stomach starts hurting badly with vomiting. It seems like a pregnancy reaction. The mother is terrified. The father also hands over a towel, planning to take the baby to the hospital at first light. But with the delay, the girl's condition worsens. Her belly keeps getting bigger as she lies unconscious in the backseat. Welcome to the review recapped. Help us grow by subscribing and turning on the notifications. It means us a lot. Enjoy. Finally, she arrives at the hospital, but the test results are unexpected. The doctor says there's nothing wrong with the images of the girl's body. The mother is desperate, her belly is almost as large as a full-term pregnant woman. She also has nausea, weakness, dizziness and vomiting. These are clear signs of pregnancy. But the doctor explains the girl is only lactose intolerant with digestive problems. That's why her belly has suddenly enlarged. Baffled by the result, the couple are told the doctor says she's fine. So the family goes home reassured. After dinner though, the daughter is rolling around in bed, crying out in terrible pain. She screams for her mother. The panicked parents rush her back to the hospital immediately. Overnight, with medication, the girl's pain gradually improves. After examination, the doctors think it's a simple case of acid reflux. Just take some walks after meals, they advise. But the mother is convinced the diagnosis is wrong. She insists the doctor re-examine her daughter. The young doctor is very firm in his diagnosis. He says that if she doesn't believe him, she can go to another hospital. He has many more patients to see. At this point the mother is furious. She yanks the doctor back, you find me another specialist. Run a few more tests. I'm not leaving this clinic until I understand what's going on with my little girl. The couple waits anxiously all night. Finally, at dawn, a new doctor comes into the room with the test results. But his words come as a shock, the girl has an intestinal obstruction, a knot in her digestive tract. She needs emergency surgery right away. As they insert a clear plastic tube slowly into his daughter's nose, the father's heart is in his throat. He wishes it was him in the hospital bed instead of his nine-year-old girl. But one wave of worry leads to another. After the operation, the doctors give them the tragic news. They say the girl has a serious digestive disorder, she simply can't digest food properly. There's still no better treatment for this condition. The only way to help is by inserting a tube in her mouth for nutrients. But this is only a temporary solution. She may only have months left to live. Hearing the news, the mother is heartbroken. She slowly leaves the hospital. The brutal reality is hard to accept, but life goes on. The girl now only gets fed through a nasal tube, except for colorful nutrient pills. She can't eat anything else. Although the doctor says there's no cure for the girl's illness, how can the parents stand by and watch their child suffer? The desperate mother starts calling children's hospitals everywhere, seeking help. The father mortgages the family farm and sells most of his assets to fund his daughter's medical care. But after half a year, their pleas for help are unanswered. So the mother decides not to sit still. She takes her daughter on a plane to Boston, to find a top pediatric specialist. But when they arrive unannounced, the sympathetic nurse says they have to follow procedure. To see a doctor, they need an appointment, at least a six-month wait. In the next scene we see, upset but resigned, the mother takes a deep breath and leaves with her daughter. But just then, they receive a surprise call from the hospital. The girl is asked to come in the next morning at 7 a.m. Though they don't know why the change of heart, the overjoyed mother finally gets an appointment with one of the best pediatricians in America. The doctor says she can't completely cure the girl's illness. But she can prescribe a special medicine to help digest food and remove the nasal feeding tube, so she can lead a more normal life. Hearing this news, the mother sees a long-awaited ray of hope, but the specialist then changes her mind, this treatment is not a permanent cure and the side effects are unknown. The mother has no choice but to silently pray for a miracle. The first phase of the girl's treatment begins. Though her swollen belly remains, being tube-free brings a smile back to her face for the first time in ages. But as the therapy progresses, the side effects are much worse than expected. Not only does her body fail to improve, her condition deteriorates. She has to take painkillers every day just to get through the long nights. After one failed treatment after another, she starts losing her will to fight. She goes on a hunger strike, refusing to bathe or cooperate with the medical staff. She even lashes out violently at her mother. The endless cycles of day and night pain are torturing her body, and also tormenting her mother's heart. Finally, she calls her husband in desperation. She tells him, 
Let's bring our girl back home. We're done. But even after being discharged from the hospital, fate still seems determined to not give the poor child a break. She spirals into severe depression. But in the next moment, something unexpected happens. The nine-year-old girl with a swollen belly is playing outside with her sister in a tree. It turns out the tree is hollow. One thing leads to another and she gets trapped inside after falling into the dark hollow. Hearing his eldest daughter's cries, the father rushes over. He sets up a ladder to peer inside but the hole in the tree is too deep, it's pitch black and impossible to see the girl's condition. Ten minutes later, the fire brigade arrives at the scene and rescue efforts commence. But extricating the unconscious girl proves far more difficult than anyone anticipated. The old tree can't be cut down directly for fear it may collapse with the girl still inside. After three agonizing hours with no success yet, reporters at the scene say the chances of her survival seem slim considering the great height she fell from. When told her daughter is likely dead, the mother clutches her chest and hugs the tree, weeping uncontrollably. The tremendous stress finally takes its toll, as she collapses against the trunk begging the gods to open their eyes and spare her poor daughter's life. The scene moves all the onlooking crowd to surround the mother and earnestly pray for the girl, hoping a miracle might happen. After five long hours of suspense, the girl is finally hoisted out of the hole in the tree. Watching their daughter slowly lowered to the ground limp as a ragdoll, the parents' hearts are shattered, it seems all they will get back is a cold, lifeless body. The girl is rushed to the hospital for emergency treatment as the parents anxiously wait outside the ER. But just when they are losing hope, a miracle unfolds, the doctors examine her and declare she is completely unharmed without a single bruise. Her baffled mother cannot understand how this happened. But then another miracle occurs, she is astounded to find her daughter's swollen abdomen has returned to average size. Her appetite is back and she's craving roast pork. Overjoyed, she immediately takes her daughter to Boston for further tests. The results leave the specialists dumbfounded too, overnight, the girl's incurable illness has vanished and her body is perfectly healthy once more. When the elated mother hears the news, she weeps tears of joy. Only those who have walked this arduous journey can understand how agonizing it has been. Later, the girl tells her parents she saw herself lying unconscious in the tree hollow when a butterfly appeared guiding her toward a heavenly paradise. It was a beautiful scene of forests, shrubs, chirping birds and fragrant flowers. She frolicked happily until a voice told her that her family was still waiting for her return. And then she awoke in the hospital, cured of her deadly disease. While it may seem magical, this incredible tale is based on the true story of a medical miracle that gave hope to a family and many more who heard it. A 2016 movie called Miracles from Heaven dramatizes this unexplained recovery of a young girl that stunned everyone. As the girl recalled her glimpse of paradise while unconscious in the tree, she described a serene scene filled with light and beauty. To her parents, it seemed she had been to the threshold of heaven itself. Her mysterious recovery defied all medical understanding. The doctors could only classify it as a bona fide miracle. Her parents knew in their hearts that the hand of God had reached down to their daughter, in her time of desperate need. Despite her dire prognosis, the Lord had heard their earnest prayers and bestowed His healing grace. The mother realized that with true faith, nothing was impossible for the Almighty Creator. Though the world considered it unfathomable, she never lost hope that God would deliver them from affliction. In the depths of despair, she held fast to her faith. Through the divine miracle of her daughter's healing, the Lord renewed the entire family's spirituality. This stirring testimony to the power of prayer and divine intervention resonated with people across the nation. All who heard this story rejoiced at the abundant mercy of the Heavenly Father. The girl's miraculous recovery was a source of inspiration and wonder to believers everywhere. In their time of tribulation, the Lord magnificently manifested His infinite compassion. Through one innocent child's suffering, many more were brought closer to His divine light. Her release from the clutches of death was truly a blessing from above. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.